It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? Is he with us? <laughs> Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. New Mexico was paying for the kids after him. Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Why is that so big still standing? Kill him for Christ's sake! Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? Indeed, darling. But where was I? Oh, yeah. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks.
Then, what I heard a friendly way? voice yelling at me from the window. Back, back door! door. We got we'll you cover, cover you! Try aiming, you idiots! Truth be told, He's things weren't much better behind the house. Numbers in half. Uh, that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, you I was inside. None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. And upstairs I found Billy and Charlie Boldly. You ain't going nowhere. How about that? Huh? You like that? Looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. <laughs> Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. <laughs> Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. When Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Where'd he come from? Kill him! Oh. 
come from? Suckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shot. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? But I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing with you now. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? I'm indestructible. Keep shooting. I don't mind. You are heading for the barn. Scalp your ass! <gasps> And just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless <laughs> bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. 